What happens when you cross a 3D printer with someone who likes calisthenics? You get a giveaway. That's right, today's video is gonna be a giveaway. Two people are gonna win any of the things that you see in the video. All you have to do to enter is comment what you'd like down below and make sure you're subscribed. Anyways, let's get into the video. So, why did I do this is probably everyone's first question. Well, it all started at the beginning of lockdown when I got a 3D printer and I also got uh, this dumbbell. Oh, so it was this guy right here and I got this right as gyms were closing uh, because I wanted to make sure I had something that I could at least do a little bit of weightlifting at home with. But I really like doing weighted pull-ups and other weighted uh, calisthenics moves. And there was not an easy way to attach this to me um, other than just kind of squeezing it between my legs, which is totally not great. So I ended up designing this guy and he snaps right onto here. And just like that, I've turned this pretty much into a kettlebell and I can use this with a weight belt for any of my weighted pulling movements. I actually found a product like this that I could buy, uh, but on Amazon it was something like $35 and I knew that if I printed it myself, it would only be a few bucks. So that kind of started this whole, what can I design and print instead of buying? Oh, let's make it a giveaway to video thing. <clears throat> So you're probably wondering why I have this weight vest on and uh, I, it's really heavy. I'm ready to get it off. It's because I actually printed a bunch of these little 3D printed concrete weights. Uh, so obviously I didn't print the concrete. I just printed a really thin mold for it. And then I poured a bunch of them with concrete. Uh, it took forever and I actually made them slightly too big so it was a major pain to get into this jacket. These are going to be a little bit lighter than something like an, a piece of iron or zinc that they would usually include. Um, those look like, they look like this. Uh, so for comparison, these I think are two and a half or three pounds each and these are only a pound each. Um, but I was able to fill all the empty slots in this jacket and I was able to add about 15 pounds extra to this weight vest, which would have cost about $50 if I had bought them compared to the 10 ish dollars I spent making mine. So this thing total is 35 pounds now um, and I'm ready to get it off of me. So let me do that real quick. All right, that's much better. Uh, so next on our list, 3D printed handstand blocks. These are just like the wood ones that you might have seen. Um, a lot of people use them once they get a little bit more advanced with their handstand training. I've seen them used for one arm handstand work and I'm hoping to get there one day. Uh, certainly not anytime soon, but I wanted to make some of these for myself instead of just buying them. So I just wanted to jump in really quick and let you know that all the files for everything that you've seen up into this point in the video are linked down in the description if you want to print these out for yourself. Also, this is what my printing setup looks like right now. And yes, I know that's not the safest setup, but I only print while I'm here monitoring it. So don't worry about me. I am totally safe. Second to last on this list, I have the grip trainers. And I think these actually look really professional. I don't know if anyone would find them that useful, uh, but I really like the way they look. It's basically just a slot that I can only put a certain amount of fingers in. And it is for training, I guess, a crimp or a, I think it's a crimp. I am not a climber, but I do madly respect those guys and their finger strength. So I'm trying to get a little bit of gains with that, but I really like these and I think I'm going to list this and the last 3D printed item in this list on an Etsy shop to be sold because I can make these cheaper, I think, than any of the ones that I've seen online. So it would be a great way for you to support me and I think I could make some awesome products too. So let's get into my favorite thing that I printed so far. And that's these 3D printed parallettes. 
I went through more than a few iterations trying to get to this design, um, testing out different pole diameters and different widths of the feet because I really wanted to make something that felt a lot like these, which are some homemade, totally DIY parallettes that I made for myself a while ago. They feel super sturdy, but I wanted something that would be a lot smaller, but feel the same. And you would probably think that a 3D printed or a plastic part isn't that strong, but I've been testing this out and I really cannot get any sort of crinkling or bowing or anything with it. So I think it's pretty viable as something that I can actually sell and make all myself in my house here um, and make a little money on the side. So now that we've seen all the 3D printed things, I think it's time for a cool montage of all of them. You ready? So those are all the 3D printed things that I made. I hope you enjoyed these. Um, let me know if you have any questions down below and make sure to comment which one of these you like. Make sure that you're subscribed to be entered in the giveaway. I'm only gonna be shipping within the US because shipping rates outside the country are just crazy and I don't have that kind of YouTube money yet. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck in your training and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.